All right, Ian is talkative. <laughs> I went and made some tea. Because it's cold. Nira, my girl, my girl. Have you ever considered a career in object appropriation? <laughs> really? Uh, no. No, I have not. A shame you'd make an ex excellent accom assistant. Accom assistant. Indeed, with your feminine wise and terrifying hair, you could get into almost any location. With a terrifying hair? Really? What do you mean, terrifying hair? Just imagine the bountiful riches, the teeth rattling thump of the turnip launcher as we make our getaway, the outraged screams. What is he talking about? Turnip launcher? Wait, no. I'm good, Ian. Thanks, but I'm just not the thieving type. Not thievery, appropriation. The art is an age-old tradition worthy of honor and respect. I think I'll still have to pass. Bugger. Alright, so it doesn't look like we can do anything. So I suppose that we will have to deal with him, unfortunately. Because for a role-playing reason, I would just like to get rid of him. Tell him to scrum, possibly. Not necessarily killing him, but... Yeah. It's time to rest. What is the kill option? Like, if you kill him, then something must happen, right? don't know how willingly how willing I am to give up part of myself for some information I already probably click 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 that already maybe maybe I made the mistake of talking to him I should have killed him on sight there's no other way to restore you there is no other way Jean unless you have another ball spawn about that I am unaware of this is your spark or nothing choose Maybe we can just attack him, like, out of the blue? Since I missed the... the doesn't work. Consider it done. Game, why are you doing this to me? You're an RPG, let me RPG, please. Maybe I should have clicked... I wanted to talk to, to him, but maybe I should have just clicked kill him when the, op the option was possible. I think, do I wanna reload for that? I tried to have the dialogue again, I reloaded and fought again and stuff, but yeah, it, it's not really working. Uh, I cannot kill him in any way, so Stop. the only thing I can hope is that I can kill him afterwards. <sighs> this is just so... I mean, why do I even complain? As you ask. Uh, what is the option I accept now? I will restore you then, so I've cheated death. Thank you, dear brother. No gift could please me more. I live! Flesh and blood and bone! I am alive! <laughs> I swore I would scratch and crawl my way back into the world of the living, and I have done it! Sarabok lives again, a foul act that spits on everything that is natural. I know you have your reasons, Jean, but I, I will never agree with this. You're talking with me, Jahira? Talk to the game. I understand you. Talk to the game. Though my sword and armor have not appeared, no matter, without the ball essence to channel their powers, they are of little use. I shall make do without them, as I once did. Thank you, Jeanne. I am pleased. Whatever, now spill it, or we start round three, you understand? The first thing I shall tell you of 
of is how to leave this pocket plane that you have created. It is an extension of your will, Jani. Again, it exists because you need to exist. Uh, you need it to exist. It is uh, this plane which creates the portal out, but it will not take you where you wish to go. It takes you where you need to be, or perhaps where you believe you need to be. Okay, can we go on? But I cannot give you the ability to make this plane create such a portal. There are many barred passages in this plane of yours that I know little of. One, however, I can open, and beyond it lies what you seek. Watch. There's a challenge behind that room, okay. Enter that room and face your challenge, Jean. It will be difficult. You may not want to do it alone. There is a spirit here which can summon those companions you require for your party, if you require such. Yeah, I've already discovered that. Regardless, once you have completed that challenge, you will be able to leave this plane of yours. It does not, however, take you where you wish to go. It takes you where you need to be again. And I, as I said, know where that is. In my youth, I spent much of my time looking into the old lore of the dead Long Priesthood. I unearthed one of the old prophecies from an uncooperative sect of Siric, one that spoke extensively of this time now upon us. The Sword Coast will run red with blood, and yes, the battles will culminate in a great struggle within a city to the south, the Tetherian city of Seradush. It is there that you must go, where the first step of the prophecy will unfold. Aren't you still a child of Bo? No, Bo's essence left me as I died, and that which has been given to me now maintains my mortality only. I don't understand how that works. Yeah, as I as a person, as soon as something doesn't make sense, or is th there's no logic ex explanation, I just... I don't like it. Some might still consider me a ball spawn, but it is solely a matter of history and memory. Yeah, w w so, are you yes or no? Blah. Both. I think, I think I don't want to know anything about him. I was... Uh, uh, from him, I just want to kill him now. Before you go, I have one more thing to ask of you, Jean. Take me with you. Ha ha ha! I once was sure that the old prophecies centered around me. Even if that is no longer the case, I know more about them than perhaps anyone. I can help you, Jean, with the challenge in that room and more. <laughs> it would make more sense if I, like, forced him to come with us because I want to keep an eye on him. But honestly. Of course I do this for no selfless reason. There is power in your wake, Jean. I'm sure I am not the first to tell you this. And there is no better opportunity for me elsewhere. Besides, you defeated me long ago. You have earned my respect. Think of it, Jean. Brother and brother side by side. I... If I, you know, if somebody was died from the previous fight, I would take you because I don't really have a choice. I mean, I could take somebody else from the statues, but that's that's too meta. That's that's too much meta gaming for me. <laughs> okay, I would never summon Ari here now because I'm I'm with this party. I go on with this party, but I've literally everybody in this party is better than you. And you're not my brother, and I, I would never trust you at my back. Really. I see, so be it. Our business is finished then, Jean. You have what you need, and so do I. Gather your companions for your challenge and be off. May we not meet again. No, no, no. Freaking kill him. Kill him. Kill him. You see, this is not right. You're a role-playing game, game. Why are you not making me role-play? It shall be. Well, thank God, after Baldur's Gate and such, the role-playing games became, after Baldur's Gate and many others, well, 
game, role playing game started to be actual role playing game where you can you can have multiple decisions, and with these de these decisions are important because when you're like me, that you like to play a character and you like to play a story, these decisions are important because they make the story unique to your character. Like I don't want to come off like. Uh, uh, this this game it does everything wrong. No, it's just I'm I'm more used to game that give me give me more choice definitely. Consider it done. Because I like role playing and the role playing is about choices. It's not just about which class do you want to play. Prepare to be eviscerated, <laughs> fool. You're you're not. You're one of us. You're one of the ball spawn, aren't you? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> oh, but you you needn't worry about me. I'm dead. I'm a nobody. I grew up in a small farming village. I didn't even know what I was until they came for me. But you're dead because you're here, huh? But I knew I was different. You can hear the screams at night, can't you? You can feel the blood of the murdered. How it flows all around you. A, a thousand different pains and you're nothing but a solitary echo. But it's not terrible, it's inviting, it calls to you, and if you give it, give in to it, if you offer your entire heart up to it, everything becomes crystal clear. One murder, two, a thousand, it all becomes part of you. I murdered three of the local girls until I was dri driven out, and then I went to the city. Murder was easier there, and I felt the call every night. You can taste life, you know, and it is, so, and it is divine. But you resist it, don't you? Why would you do that? I can feel you've murdered many, and yet you resist all the good that we alone, the ball spawn, can appreciate. After all, the only thing you f need to fear is retribution. Huh? Oh! So he disappeared. Come on, Jean, fight, fight. Guys, do you want to fight? Are you? Hey, there's a f there's problems there. Go get them. <laughs> retribution. Retribution. Oh, Retribution. Retribution. I'm still pissed because of Sarevok. I'm sorry. It shall be. To battle and victory! Okay. Land of folly! Fall creatures and feed the earth! Wait, what is down here? Nothing. I can't go down there. I'm thinking, I'm just stopped because I'm, I've stopped because I'm thinking. Consider it done. Who's talking? Victory unclear. Destruction falls. Nature, take the lightning. What is this? Oh, it's a piece of somebody. We're grinding. Hmm. What? What would I do? Use your bow, Jean. Why are you not using it again? To battle and victory. Be alert. Oh, At least try. I will do my best. <gasps> That's it? Guys, yes. stay here. Nira, do you have any, any ideas, Nira? Oh, 
die, just die, just die, die. Do you have an idea, Nira? I don't think this guy is invisible, right? Maybe he is. The enemies are like changing. Uh... I command pure chaos, kinda. Jean, why don't you come back Hurry with me? Uh... Okay. Yeah, I was saying that the enemies seem to be getting to be eviscerated, fool. getting mm, mightier <laughs> by the second. So you survived retribution. I didn't, but then. You know how to kill a lot better than I did. Strange thing is, the longer you survive, the more blood you have on your hands. And there's never an end to the retribution. Or is there? I don't know, what do you think? Done. What are these things? They're non clickable, but I like them. <laughs> Some reason. Oh, you know what they look like? They almost look like maps of other planes. Almost. I don't know. As you ask. We have lots of bows, no ammo, no particular arrows. I was hoping in some, some fire arrows, maybe. Caspinar is good servant. Hey, Caspinar. Oh, yes. Did th that open any other way? Ooh, shiny ones. Where? Can we get out? What? Okay, the cutscene there was a little bit um The general is too busy to meet with the likes of these commoners. Pull belong and no one gets hurt. Yeah, the, I'm sorry the cinematic was a little bit um bumpy. <laughs> it was not smooth, uh, not at all. The general is too busy to meet with the likes of these commoners. Uh El Khan soldier. Alright. These people represent the concerns of the entire town. Please, good soldiers, hear their case. Our food is almost gone. Our children cry out in hunger. Your master must hear our pleas. The plight of peasants is not Gromnir Ilkhan's concern. Stand aside, townsfolk. Oh. If you know what's good for you, you'll all head back to your homes. Hmm. The army outside the city will surely kill us all. Your master cannot just turn his back on us. But is this the place where humans and uh, monsters uh, live together, actually? Clear these gates. You won't get another warning. Threats are not the answer here. Everyone stay calm and we can work together to find a solution. Our orders are clear. 
Move these peasants along, or we'll move them along ourselves. No one do anything rash. Uh, perhaps if we return later, when it is more convenient for Gromner Khan to see us. No, Melisan. We will not be bullied this time. We will stay right here until they take us to Gromnir. We demand to see Gromnir. Take us to Ilkhan. There is just no reasoning with you people. You only understand the edge of a sword. I told you to clear these gates. You brought this on yourselves. No, put down your weapons. This is not necessary. What's this? A child of Paul appears from nowhere? Impossible. Yes. Intruders! Spies! The walls have been breached! I have no idea what you're talking about. Ray the invaders! Attack! No! Hold your weapons! These might be allies! Come to help! Really? Don't fall for their tricks! Kill them all! And let the gods sort them out! Are you killing? Okay. <laughs> I'm always politely waiting for them to decide to make up their mind. I'm such a kind soul. Valiga, you go you go with him. Jean retreat. And Nira go back. Jean wake up! Wake up! John, wake up! Please! Do you have the wrong bow, Jean, or something? It doesn't work anymore? Your bow doesn't work anymore? Yeah, these are the objects, uh, the loot objects, because I replayed the game because I thought I could uh, kill Sarevok, sorry, didn't identify them. Okay, well, go, go with this. <laughs> Look at Valiga! <laughs> Whoa. Greetings, I am Melisande, a friend. Welcome to Saradouche. I regret your first encounter in this town was so bloody. Don't worry, I'm used to it. <laughs> I'm used to bloody encounters. I don't know if I enjoy them, but I'm used to them. Such is the legacy of your father. You have learned to expect such treatment from all those you meet. But hit my words, Jean, or even your remarkable skills may not save you this time. I watched the events of your life quite closely, Jean, and as I do with all the progeny of the Lord of Murder, I've seen many of your kin slain over these past months. Why are both children of such interest to you? You might consider me to be a guardian, for want of a better term. I know the prophecies of Alundo. I know some feel they allude to the return of Bol to the realms. By taking an active interest in the fate of Bol's offspring, you and those like you, I hope to prevent the Lord of Murder from returning to the realms in any form. So you're just another person meddling in the fate of Bol's children. I do not know how you came to be here, Jean, but I fear you are now trapped here in Saradash, like the rest of us. I'm going to go out on a limb and guess it's my job to get everyone out of this trap, right? There is little hope of escape from this besieged town. In addition to the army surrounding us, dark magic prevents us from even sending a message beyond the walls. Beyond the walls of Saradash awaits the army of Yagashura. They have laid siege to this town. 
seeking the death of all those here who share your tainted blood. So Yagashura is another child of Bolden and she's just killing the uh, competitors. <laughs> Need siege to this town. If I help you, what do I get out of all of this? Yeah, I, we get out, I suppose. <laughs> I know much about you, Jeanne, and your destiny, but I will only reveal it if you help the people of Saradash. The safety is my responsibility. Why am I not surprised? First, we must deal with General Gromir, the man who now runs the city of Saradash. Like, I'm thinking, if you play like evil, absolute evil, if you play an evil character, if you decide you want to roleplay an evil character, do you even have the chance to just kill everybody, like even this girl, or like the plot goes on the same regardless of your alignment? I have to try for myself, of course. If you if you want to play like evil psychopath, I mean, because whenever you play evil, it's a little bit tricky because evil people usually pretend to be good people, you know, you just discover by chance or too late that they're evil when they have like stabbed you or s such. When you play the evil character that kills everybody and always does, um, always chooses the wrong bloodier option, I call it role playing evil psychopath. It's, it's a little bit different than evil, normal evil. Normal evil is kind of smart and plays like good, but then turns at the last moment or is a scheming person, a manipulator. I brought him and his loyal men here to protect Saradash and the many bonespawn gathered here seeking sanctuary. Oh, so this is, this is, uh, oh my god. I see what's happening here. So this is like uh, Jurassic Park for <laughs> ball spawns, kind of. Uh, and Gromir is also a child of Bo, okay. So he's playing, he's, he doesn't want to collaborate, doesn't want to help then. Gromir is mad, okay, he has barricaded himself in the castle troll room and his troops run amok through the town with no regard for the lives and rights of the citizens of Sardash. <laughs> I like this Gromir style, yeah, the guy just g gain a ha you could gain entrance as a child of Bo and then just kill all the other child of Bo children of Bo, right? That makes sense. Evil proper. Why don't I have a true neutral option here? Uh -huh. The actions of Gronmir and his soldier have, soldiers have caused dissension within the town and made it almost impossible for the loyal Saradash militia to, militia to defend the walls. We must first defeat the enemy within before we can end this siege. You must find a way to get inside the castle to Grom Gromnir. Perhaps you can reason with him, but I fear he is beyond reason. I'm afraid you will have to kill the general to give Sardash any hope of surviving the siege. I will try to reason with this mad general. Sure. It may be difficult to find uh, after this, Jean. It may, it m I may be difficult to find after this, Jean. The town suffers and my hours are spent doing what I can for the people. If you have another question, I suggest you ask it now. Can you offer any tips on getting into Grom near this castle? I can offer little advice in this matter. Garmin's or mages make approaching the gates hopeless. We'll have to find another way in and just pray one exists. Is there somewhere I can go to get provisions and supplies? 
Understandably, most people will resent the presence of yet another ball spawn in Saradash, but the innkeeper at the Tankard tree is more tolerant than most, and the, the Temple of Wukin will turn no one away. Good. I like to know who my enemies are. Could you tell me more about Yagashura? Yagashura is a ball spawn, Jean, perhaps as powerful as yourself. He and his army. W oh, okay, I thought Yagashura was intended female. Uh, sorry. He and his army will not. I will not rest until every child of ball within these walls lie, lies dead. Alright, yeah, I thought Yagashura uh, was female because I'm kind of thought Baba Yaga when I <laughs> I was imagining like some kind of old witch that would be epic you know uh, an older dark uh, older dark spawn yeah good night hey brain an older um, uh, ball spawn that's discovering only uh, very late in life that she wants to kill people and conquer the world and become the future lord uh, of murder. That would be epic. Uh, okay, but this guy, Yagashura, is a guy. Of course, he's Paul Spawn. Okay. Why is Yagashura killing all the other Paul Spawn? Yeah, because, um, you know, uh, no competition then kill the competition until you prove yourself there are some secrets i must keep to guarantee the safety of the people i have sword to protect if you wish to save yourself from yagashura you will aid me regardless yeah at this point you would be able to threaten her maybe if you're an uh, evil character like a check of some sort in i don't know your strength uh, or uh, maybe even charisma and you would be able to threaten her but Again, this game was not ready yet for this kind of mechanics, I suppose. It may be difficult to find after this, Jean. The town suffers and blah blah blah. How long we have until the walls are breached? The siege could last a few days or a few months. Act quickly, Jean, and uh, may fortune shine on your mission. Can we stop? With the teletransportation, please. Insomnia. Okay, my game is suffering. I'm having a bit of a delayed sound issue. It delayed everything, really. Look at all this stuff. Okay guys, I'm gonna sort inventory and I'm gonna store um, I'm gonna stop the game for one second because I wanna see what's wrong with it.